Oscar Bevis, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast, here today at Jab Boxing, joined by Mr. Jess Smith. How are you, mate? I'm all good, mate. How are you? Very well, very well. Here, obviously, to talk about Barcelona. Um, I was sitting there worrying about it going the distance. Yeah. Fucking hell, man. I don't know what to say. Just heartbreaking, isn't it? Uh, it's one of them ones, you know, absolutely gutted about the situation. But you know where it is... Uh, we regroup and we uh, we go again. Let's talk about the fight and how it played out. So, um, actually, let's let's start with this. What was you expecting from Kerman and what he bought throughout the whole fight? Obviously, we'll talk about the stoppages and break it down a bit. But what he bought and what you were expecting were they similar things? Uh, yeah, we knew he was going to be tough. You know, he he's boxed out a lot higher level than me. We knew he was going to come. I knew he was going to try and push me back especially on earlier on and, and probably throughout the fight. Um, we stuck to to the game plan and uh, we knew things that we could expose on him and, and would work, which it did. Um, we knew he was in for a tough night's work, but we also knew my ability and knew what I could do um, and didn't expect the outcome to be how it was. So you controlled it early. Um, yeah, went in there. Jab was working, yep. and I thought, here we go, promising night, controlling the fight early, obviously before uh, the first knockdown in the third. Yeah, the first two rounds, I can imagine, even when you were going back to the corner, it was just sort of confidence. Josh must have been feeling good as well, and I know first two rounds in the bag. Yeah, for sure. You know, the jab was working. It was uh, it was offsetting him. He, uh, he didn't really know what to do when I was just kept popping the jab in his face, popping it, and, and he was trying to get his work off but it's like he seemed he couldn't he couldn't get him off um I knew I was frustrating him and I knew he'd end up walking onto something and then round three first bit of big success um you drop Kerman obviously we know when fighters drop someone you can either go gung-ho and it must have crossed your mind to stop Kerman in the third round in Barcelona as a statement um but you drop him and you you stayed quite calm actually to be fair you dropped him and it's like the game plan didn't leave your head and you didn't just try and put a full-on assault on him. You dropped him in the third and, uh, yeah, again, just swinging your way, complete dominance. Yeah, you know what? He walked on to, to a good shot on a, in the third. Um, what was going through my head was, firstly, I was in shock, obviously, that the referee took so long to put his mouth guard in. Um, obviously, the time then kept running and, and I knew to myself where I have done in previous fights and gone rushing out and end up gassing. I knew I had to take my time and I knew that something would come again. So, you know, I, I did put the pressure on him a little bit um, and obviously he got himself through the round. Um, and then obviously in the fourth, which you'll probably get to, end up dropping him again with another sweet shot. Um, and then obviously, you know, the referee gave him even more time. You know, you're talking 28 seconds. I think it was something ridiculous. Um, at the end of the day, yeah, you don't give a fire that long. I could have then, well, I would have then got him out of there. There's no way, two ways about it, you know. He, there was no way he was going to clear his head in eight seconds. He spat his gum shoulder and didn't even get warned for it the first time, let alone a second time when he'd done it again. You know, it's, it's very frustrating. Um, yeah, I'm just gobsmacked with it all, to be honest with you, because if you don't give him that time, there's 100% I get him out of there. Yeah, and it is a hard situation in a way because the ref can't just look at it and go, he spat his gum shield out. Jez would have stopped him in that 30 seconds because we don't 100% no, know that. You, you, yeah. know, you, know, you can't just presume you would have stopped him. It's likely in the fourth that you would have. But I don't know, either way, it's just a bit of a muggy move. Like if you'd have got warm first time and a point taken off in the fourth, the fight would have still played out in the same way, I suppose. So I don't know what can really be done about him just spitting his gum shield out. I don't know because a point deduction is irrelevant when the fight don't go to distance. No, exactly. You know, even if, like you said, you know, say I don't get him out, I, I didn't get him out of there, yeah, he still, he gets warned the first time, he gets points deducted the second time, you know, he's already three, four rounds behind already, you know, so you give him another one, he's chasing it even more. And then obviously, you know, let's, uh, let's not forget, obviously, in the sixth round, he did catch me with a, with a good body shot, um, you know, which I went down on. Um, and I had to, you know, bite into my gum shield and and, and climb off the canvas, um, taking that seventh round to recover. And then um, then everyone see, I think, you know, the whole world see 
Uh, the referee jump in when he, he he might have hit me once behind the back of the head, once on the shoulder, and then the referee jumped jumped in just as I went to like was throwing a right hand back. Um, I'm just devastated with 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 the outcome and and how the referee played it out because um, I truly believe you know I would have would have got my second wind and uh, and I would have come strong and I would have walked away with a, with a great victory. Yeah, you have admitted you were hurt, like you said, you were hurt by the shot, um, took a knee, you were down, but. You weren't finished, and anyone who's watched the match from behind the scenes, um, you even said to Eddie, and Eddie said to you, look, you were hurt, and he's like, yeah, I was. I'm not going to sit here and, and lie. Um, but not to the point where you had to be pulled from the fight. I know at one point you were sort of, I know when it was stopped, you were sort of facing the ground, and it, it might not have looked great, but I think as soon as it was stopped, you get a sense of whether it was right or wrong, and uh, yeah, it just didn't look right. I think I think you can see from my reaction and from straight after that I wasn't. It's not like I was leaning on the ropes, puffing or blowing. I was completely fine after like talking. So you know, I knew I had. I was. I'm a very frustrated about it because, you know, a few people might have said, you know, and it, it was inevitable. It was going to happen. He was going to stop Jez on. What? Because you're all going off previous fights where I've gassed in the later rounds. I know what I put my body through, through this camp and the condition I got myself on. You know, you could see when I was on the scales, it was the best condi- the best shape I've been in throughout my career. So I knew I had them later rounds in me and I'm gutted that I didn't get to show that. You know, I didn't get to prove to people that I can do them later rounds and uh, and I'm a 10 round fighter because I believe I am. You know, uh, don't get me wrong, I look great for, for the earlier rounds, but I wanted to prove to people that I had them later rounds in me as well. You know, and he... I could hear him inside. He was blowing, you know, he was blowing. And I, I, you know, deep down, I knew that I I, I would have uh, pushed on in them late rounds and got some more rounds under my bank. And, you know, I was up as it was, you know, whoever saying I wasn't, you know, I was up on the, on the scorecard. You can't say I wasn't, you know, everyone see it with the knockdowns. I, I won the early rounds as well. Um, yeah, just very frustrating. Very, very frustrating. And he looked shocked himself. In a way, there's a split second where if you look at Kerman after the stoppage, he's a bit like, what, what, what? he looks shocked by the stoppage himself. Yeah, well, all I can say is that surely there's no way in in his head that he thinks that was the right stoppage. So, but obviously we won't know because he don't speak English. So I'm not going to understand the word he says. So, But at the end of the day, you know, I hope that we can get the rematch on and I can put things right. Yeah, before we talk about the rematch and any sort of things that have been said by yourself, by Eddie, um, have you, I mean, you've shown at least, and I know when I come here uh, a couple of weeks before, you said that even if you were to go over there and lose, not that you want to, you can still come out with a performance that does something for your career. Now, obviously, things have happened in the fight and it hasn't gone the way you wanted. And although you did lose, you feel like you shouldn't have. Um, but he is ranked seventh with the WBA. That's in his gaff as well, that you've gone over there, have you proved to, not just yourself, but to other people, that Jez Smith can operate at a European fringe world level? Uh, yeah, well, but look, I'm not going to overstep where I think I am or where I don't where I don't think I'm at. Um, but at the end of the day, I think I've proven to a lot of people that I am, I belong on a, on a televised show like all the time. So, and I believe that I've showed that I can mix with these sort of fighters, so hopefully now that I will get more opportunities, even though I lost, and uh, we can keep moving forward. Eddie said on his Instagram live, you put it on Twitter as well, said that he would like to see the rematch. Um, it was a good fight. Most people like seeing a rematch, take out the injustice. It was a, it was an entertaining fight. Um, you'd won it. So we don't know what Kerman and his team are feeling, but yeah, what's been said so far? Anything? more concrete than just I'd like to see it from Eddie or anything? Uh, no, nothing being concrete. Yeah, I know obviously Eddie said he'd like to make... I suppose it's still quite fresh, isn't it? So. Yeah, you know, it, it was only the other day, so nothing's really been said on the subject yet. I know he, he's talking about wanting to make the fight. Um, I know Kerman and his team said apparently after that they would come to England, um, so hopefully that can be made. But I did hear um, Eddie say something about Bilbao, because um, obviously that's where he's from, and... Uh, I think he's a, a big ticket seller or he's got a big fan base there. You know, at the end of the day, whether it's in England or it's in Bilbao, then I'd like uh, for there to be a neutral um, referee and 
and judges and and, and make it fair you know because i if i'm honest you know i feel like i got cheated a little bit from it um well quite massively and i think everyone see that that obviously the stoppage shouldn't have happened so um hopefully you know they can stick to their word and uh, and get this rematch sorted so i can p put things right do you feel like for yourself you have to have this rematch as well like in your heart of hearts you have to have this because let's say a domestic opportunity comes up not for the british just like a big domestic fight at 154 do you feel like you'd have to sort of still concentrate on this rematch because there's something inside you that tells you it almost has to be dealt with that like you have to reverse what's happened is that how it feels yeah for sure and you know i need this rematch i want to I want to put things right, you know, I was on the verge of probably, well, definitely the most biggest uh, win of my career, you know, and and it got taken away from me, um, you know, next time, I tell you what, when, when I do him, he won't be getting up for that eight count, you know, I will put him to sleep, um, I'm just very frustrated about the whole situation, but like I said, you got to dust yourself off, I'm back in the gym, and back working on things that I know I've can do better and uh we go again and uh yeah i just want to you know like i said i, I want to be an exciting fight so hopefully we can get this rematch sorted um squashed at and then uh move on and just the barcelona experience um like i said i've seen the behind the scenes and that you're obviously sharing a change room with the other brits out there gavin mcdonald k prosper um a couple of other brits on the undercard it was a nice arena as well it looked like it was just sort of a it was just a good fight night all around, like a good show put on by the zone. You must have just been pleased to, although, like I said, it didn't go your way and that. You must have just been pleased to be in and around all of that because it just looked like a good setup and a good fun as well because it's your career, but boxing's fun. So it, it looked like it was all quite good fun. Yeah, I was. I enjoyed every minute of the of the week, the bubble. Um, it was a great experience. Uh, it was uh, nice in a way to, to fight away from, obviously, out of England with the experience uh, and being on the zone and um the you know the arena was great it was uh yeah overall it was a great week obviously the outcome wasn't what we wanted or how we expected it to go but like i said we dust ourselves off and uh we act professional about this and then we go again we could be sitting here right after the summer because i know eddie mentioned potentially uh, he's sort of revisiting fight camp with maybe like a different model with fans and that. If you fought Kerman on fight camp, which I know he sort of rumoured a, a little bit, um, we could be sitting here where you've beaten Kerman and I don't know, there's a contract on the table. So I suppose it might feel shit now, but in four or five months time, you could be Jez Smith's Matron Boxing's latest signing with a WBA world ranking. For sure. You know, all I do know is that we will definitely be sitting here for four, four or five months time knowing that I've done a job on him because... You know, I was on the verge of of doing that and backing up what I said I would do. Um, so, yeah, it's exciting times ahead. Hopefully, uh, we can get this rematch on. And if it's in fight camp, fantastic. You know, be a great experience. And, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to the future. And just finally, there's a good fight at 154 this weekend. Troy Williams and Kieran Smith. I just want to get a prediction from yourself. Uh, yeah, real 50-50 this. Um, yeah, it's a great fight. You know, um, I watched uh, a little bit on Dre. Um, he's a good fire. He, he he comes and he's an exciting fight. Uh, haven't seen much of Kieran Smith at all, really. Um, predictions. I'm. I can't I haven't really got one to be fair. I'm going to go with a Troy Williams win and uh, hopefully he can get the job done. And uh, you never know down the line there might be a little dust up between me and him. Do you reckon now because of your performance? Just quickly before I end this, uh, people will now want to fight you because Jez Smith is a bit more out there or people won't want to because they've looked and gone tricky trouble do you know what I mean do you know what it's it's one of them ones you know uh obviously with my record I've lost you know I've lost three now and I, I obviously only and I've won 12 um I think I'm one of them fighters that it's a it's a it's a dangerous fight you know fighting me there's it's kind of no reward for the for the uh, for the home fighter and no uh, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's it's one of them ones. So um, hopefully, you know, listen. Hopefully, they're all like me, and they're, you know, they're all fighting men, and they want to fight. You know, obviously, they are. Hopefully, they just want to fight everyone. And and uh, and with me, I just want to fight the best in the division. So and I want to keep mixing with these lot in the division. And I think after my fight with Kerman the other day, I think I proved that. So um, hopefully, uh, I can get more opportunities and. Uh, some big fights and some big names and uh, keep moving forward.